Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC, a very special episode. As we remember, I started my quest for the King Civivi. I had the lineup, I drew the numbers, everybody has random callouts, and we're starting round one today, guys. So, I'm going to jump into what I deemed as the categories for the quest for King Civivi. These may be subject to change, not within this bout for the quest of the king but as i go through you know the crjbs and stuff i may fine tune this but this is a very rough estimate as you guys know it's not that i don't plan for these videos it's that i don't necessarily want to script these videos and if you guys uh hear any clicking or noise in the background my child is playing i do not apologize for my child playing we all have families etc 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 he's entertaining himself all right so Quest for the King Civivi, guys. Here are my categories. Aesthetics. This one is going to be very subjective. That being said, it kind of goes hand in hand. Not at all. Never mind, it doesn't. It Aesthetics are a subjective thing. Some of you may agree, some of you may not. Well, do your own video. <laughs> not to be a dick, but that's kind of where it's at, you know? I'm just kidding. Feel free to give me your comments in the bottom if you don't agree with my choices. I will not go back on the choices, but I will open it for a healthy debate if that is the case. I always enjoy that as long as we keep it uh, relatively healthy. It is YouTube, though. All right, so aesthetics. Second is ergos. Third is quality, quote, unquote, feel. What I mean by that is if you guys watched my just my previous episode... That thing feels awesome. Awesome. And by quality feel, I'm going to, you know, you just pick up the knife and you just feel which one feels like a higher quality. Now, again, subjective, but you can, but what also goes into it is the thought behind what they did. What did they knock down? What did they do to it? Um, you know, how much time did they spend on this knife versus just throwing it together? All right. So that's how I'm judging the quality feel. Fidget factor. Everybody loves a good fidget factor, right? Um, some of you, I, I don't believe that this is a subjective because I can base this one on a little bit more data. Um, and while some of you may disagree and there will come a time where there are some that are up against each other that I kind of have to choose, uh, I'll at least go into my reasonings for it. Okay. The carry, carry profile, how it fits, you know, in your pocket. Um, do you notice it? What's better about which one, etc.? Blade shape, sliciness, uh, well, blade, shape, sliciness, durability, you know, is the shape a practical shape? Um, early in my knife, you know, quest, just in general, I, I found that I don't like Tanto knives. I think they look awesome, but I like to slice, and they don't feel so much like slicers. Then again, I could have been holding the wrong knife and i'll give them a chance in the future just not yet uh and then value you know what are you getting best bang for your buck okay so without further ado let's jump into it guys the quest for the king savivi round one begins now bing bing all right let's jump into aesthetics that is the first and most subjective category while looking at these knives you know, aesthetics, I don't want to say is an easy choice here. Nobody really is a huge fan of these gold liners, right? And both of these two, both of these two ones have the gold liners. That being said, which one looks better? We got the Statera and the Praxis. I hate this matchup for a round one, by the way. Absolutely hate it. As you guys know, I am a fanboy of both of these. I used to be a much larger fanboy of the Statera, and I've kind of fallen a little out of love with that, but that's not really indicative, and it's not really uh, how we're going to judge this video. So, aesthetics. Just taking a look at them, which one looks nicer? Which one looks cooler? And I have to go with the Statera for this one. Um, the carbon fiber inlays, you know... 
these holes in the center which serve absolutely no purpose but kind of look cool the way the blade shape goes with this you know it, it lines up uh, they even took time to uh, stonewash that blade uh, get down there I just screwed it all up you know now the Praxis looks awesome but it doesn't look as cool as the Statera so aesthetics goes to the Statera Ergos this one was tough for me with the Statera this does not feel good it doesn't feel awful but when you're comparing the two it doesn't feel as good but this feels really darn good this feels very good right here and not as good as the, the, the Statera there the one con is that this part of the forward finger choil is less sharp than this one. That being said, I found myself using the finger choil by pulling down, not pulling in. So it doesn't affect me as much, but I noticed it as I was trying to grade these two. One downside for the Statera is it's kind of like they just half-assed this lanyard hole. It, it doesn't follow the contours of the knife. Whereas this one, as the Praxis, you can see it just goes right on around. Without that lanyard hole on this, you know, it, it would feel stupid. So, you know, there's a con for this Totera. Now, while I had these as a tie, the lanyard hole threw me off. I was trying to find a reason to not like one of them more than the other, and it was the lanyard hole. And this pocket clip doesn't feel the greatest, but, you know... I actually don't feel the pocket clip on the Praxis as much, but maybe that's just the way I hold it. So, while that was going to be a tie, the Ergos are going to the Praxis. Um, I feel like the Praxis, you have just a better, a better overall grip. You have the same amount, really, of handle, but it's a little bit more contoured. It doesn't make you... They both force your hand into a specific area. But this one, it just, it seems to force it less and it feels more natural. So the Ergos are going to the Praxis, guys. Quality feel. Which one of these knives feels a higher quality knife? Now you can probably guess it outright, but I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit. The cool thing about the Praxis is that they do have this, I forgot what it's called, but it looks like they milled it down on the outsides. They cut all the sharp edges off. There's no sharp edges on any of these knives except for the backs of the blades. Same thing with this one. Here, hold on one sec. Sorry about that. I said I wasn't apologizing for him and he decided to get louder. So as far as quality feel, there's really no sharp edges. Even this one, the, the, the Satera, the back of the knife doesn't feel as sharp along the spine as the Praxis. Um, you know, you got these carbon fiber inlays. It, well, laminate, whatever you want to call it. it it's got to go to the Statera for the, uh, for the quality feel. It just feels like a higher quality knife. Um, that being said, I don't think it wins by much. It's, it's just a slight hair. So I got to give the quality feel to the Statera. Fidget factor. I struggled with this one too. In case you guys are keeping score, aesthetics and quality feel are going to the Statera so far, and the Ergos go to the Praxis. So it's a two to one for Statera. Fidget factor. The reason, despite the weak ass freaking ball detent on this, uh, not ball detent, I say that because of paintball, the weak ass freaking detent on this knife, uh, that frustrated the shit out of me for a little bit, but it doesn't really anymore. Where the Praxis almost had it, because of the heavy blade, that drop shutty feel that you get out of the Praxis. I mean, everybody likes a drop shut knife. Does it serve any practical purpose? No, but neither does the fidget factor. So, um, where I lost it and what overdid one over the other is the flipper tab. If you were going to fidget, you do not want your finger to wear. You do not want your finger to, you know, feel like you're kind of hitting a sharp piece of metal each and every time. That's where the Praxis loses. This right here 
combined with the heavier ball detent, which I know is a little counterintuitive to my last statement, you have to press down harder because of the ball detent, and it is a much sharper, a much sharper flipper tab, because they did an awesome job of knocking this one down. Now, don't get me wrong. This one's close because the Praxis has that heavy blade, you know, and they're both Civivi, so. You would think that the fidget factor is the same, and it's similar, but I gotta give this one to the Statera. The Statera Oh shit. I just looked at my notes and then realized something I'll tell it at the end. The Statera just it, it's more fidgety. It's probably it's not the most fidgety Civivi in my opinion. I don't really know what the most is. I I, I really like you know, the, the the Elementum has a great fidget factor until I screwed it up with the acid wash, and it still has a good fidget factor to it. Um, I, like the, I like the front flippers. The McKenna has a great fidget factor to it, too. And once you get used to that motion, you could sit there and do that damn near all day. And the liner lock on it's you know, it, it feels easier to push. Anyways, I digress. So the fidget factor goes to this Tatero. The carry... Now, you would think this is an open and shut for a Statera, but what does it for me, and I talked about this before and how it's not that big of a deal, but if you're talking specifically about carry, is the deeper carry pocket clip for the Praxis. So I was torn. The Statera is sleeker, and it weighs a little less, but the contours of them are very similar, and this one has a deep carry pocket clip. So which one carries better? Once again, you guys may disagree with me, but I have to give this one a tie. While, the, while this has a couple things going for it, the Praxis does too. They're both a little bit larger knives. I almost immediately gave it to the Statera because it is more of a 3.4, 3.5 inch knife, if I'm not mistaken. The blade. I don't have my measurement tools on me and I don't remember what I did. And this is more, the Praxis is more of a 3.7, 3.8 inch blade. Maybe it's even a 3.65, not, maybe not that much of a difference. But, you know, in, oops, you know, the, if, if we're going to stack these and just look at the overall height, yeah, well, no, yes, the overall height in the Praxis is taller too. I'm still giving these a tie. I'm sticking to my guns on this one. I, I think the deep carry pocket clip kind of offsets some of the carry profile on this. Um, and not to mention, this one, this pocket clip is very good. But as you're pulling it out of your pocket, to demonstrate where you guys can't see, it gets a little hung up. The Praxis comes right out. Now, I'm wearing basketball shorts currently, so if that's getting a little hung up on basketball shorts, it's going to... I'm just giving you guys why I'm justifying my reasoning for a freaking tie, okay? Take it or leave it. Next, the blade shape, sliciness, the durability. This isn't so much of a struggle for me, um, but there's pros and cons to either, right? The blade shape on the freaking Praxis is amazing. You have this... It looks like a, it's a flat grind. I think that's a flat grind. Um, they're both flat grinds, and I might correct myself, but uh, they're both flat grinds. This one just has further to go, so you get a little bit more sliciness to it. I'm not going to go to the thickness behind the edge thing. I don't really care, right? I like this blade shape more. The blade shape on the Praxis is better. The sliciness, due to the blade shape and the longer angle that you had to do that flat grind on the Praxis, the sliciness has also got to go to the Praxis. Durability. These being Civivi knives, the durability on these blades is not that of a cold steel knife. As you can see, and it looks... Here's the unique thing. The tips are about the same. The Statera 
looks like it's a thicker blade. Like it looks like because of the swedge that's on it and they both have a similar looking swedge on the back. Not looking, but a similar angled swedge. The unique thing about this is that this swedge is much more drastic right here. And so this fat part behind it gives this unique feel that it's fatter than it actually is. To be perfectly honest, due to the width of that blade, I think this knife, I, you, I, I'm fairly certain you could beat the shit out of the Praxis and not have any issues. I think your Statera tip will break first. It comes down and it almost does this wannabe reverse Tonto thing down here. And, and it's just a more dainty tip. Now, while the tips are the same, this tip immediately widens up while this one has this longer, you know, the, the reverse Tonto. So the blade shape, or the blade rather, goes to the Praxis. That is by far and large one of Civivi's best blades to date. Um, it, 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 it's going to beat a lot of things. The only one that, that it may struggle with is the Duros because they're the same thing. One's just bigger, one's smaller, you know. Uh, and I think the Duros has a hollow grind, but don't quote me on that. Value. This should come as no surprise that the value goes immediately to the Praxis. <laughs> Why? Well, the Praxis is coming in at like $41. The Statera, you got to pay, I thought, it's either $60, I think it's like $64. So it's an extra $25, which if you do the math, that's over 60%. Well, 55, 60%, just generically going over it. So it, it, this that should be no question. The value for what you're getting, yes, this has the carbon fiber, fiber laminate, but that's just laminate. If it was carbon fiber all the way through, sure. And they do have models like that. That cost even more, I think. Or maybe it's just black with the laminate on top. I don't remember. But the point of it is, is this laminate doesn't do much for the value for me. It, it's, it's not something that really makes it pop. The stone wash, very cool because it's different by Civivi. But again, it doesn't add value for me. So... I almost consider these knives. Now, if the Statera was 40 bucks and it looked the exact same, I would have to give the value to the Statera because there's more things that go into it. But I, I'm not. I'm just simply not. I'm not giving it the Statera. I do not think that what you're getting for the price is worth the extra 55 or 60%. For those of you keeping score, this is why I said, oh shit. Aesthetics, Statera. Ergo's Praxis, okay? Quality Feel, Statera. Fidget Factor, Statera. The carry was a tie. The blade goes to the Praxis, and the value goes to the Praxis. Very first freaking round, even before I thought this out, I got a motherfucking tie. So... <sighs> I could make the executive decision, but I'm not going to. Due to the fact that I cannot come to a conclusion, spur of the moment, I am going to give this video a week from today. Oh, well, we'll give it two weeks, because I'm not going to, eh, no, I'll give it a week. Today is <clears throat> July 23rd. On July 30th, I will count up the comment section on who should continue in this process. I promise this was not my intention, but I, I happened to randomly draw my top five favorite Civivi knives that I own, and I own too many of them. My top five, my top three, which, well, before I got the couple other ones, the, these are in my top five. So it's, it, it's un, <laughs> I, I, I hate the fact that I had to make a decision. I'm kind of glad that I accidentally came to a tie. And... So please, this isn't one of those calls. Tell your friends to watch this video. But I know Justin's going to comment on this. I know a couple other guys will too. But do me a favor. Ask some people to just weigh in. Don't even have them watch the video. Say, hey, I talked to three of my buddies and two of them states of Terra. One of them says Praxis. They don't have to watch this video. This is, I will never beg for views or beg for any of that crap. It's fun. And it keeps me going, but at the same time, if they don't want to watch it, they don't have to watch it. It's a longer video. I ramble, I ramble a lot. So, those of you that watched this whole freaking video, 
Comment in the comment sections below on who you think should win this. And I say who like their people because our knives to us should probably all have names anyways. Um, other than their own. Comment Statera Praxis on July 30th. I will check. I'm setting something in my phone after I get off of this video to say check. I will check at exactly 6 p.m. on July 30th. So next Thursday, 6 p.m., I will check the comments. I will tally it up. I will make a short, no more than five minute long video on who won out of these two. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to review all of the categories again so that when you guys make your decision, you may disagree with me with these categories and tally it up for yourself. What do you think? I'm not going to do this in every video, I promise. There will usually be a winner. This one was difficult for me, though. Aesthetics. Ergos. Quality. Quote, quotations. Feel. Right? How does it feel? Does it feel one more quality than the other? Fidget factor. The carry. The blade. And the value. Thank you guys for watching. This has been round one of a very non-anticlimactic ending to round one, the Praxis versus Cetera in the quest for the everyday... No, I'm getting my sign off. In the quest for the King Savivi. My name is Tyler. This has been Everyday EDC. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, just ask your friends' opinions on these. I'm not asking you guys to market the channel. I'm asking you guys just get your opinion on it and comment. I'll trust that you guys are actually asking and not just giving me some bullshit because the guys that actually watch this video seem like respectable, trustworthy guys with a lot of integrity. Please carry that integrity going forward because otherwise if you're just making shit up because it's your favorite knife, then that's not fair. My name has been Tyler, Everyday EDC, blah, 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 blah. Don't cut yourself, stay sharp, blah, blah, blah. You know, don't get corona, be respectful. Stay out of the riots. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Take care.